accounts of voluminous capacity as they portray a panoply of personalities under this preeminent proscenium. Please welcome Mr. Smythe and Mr. Jones. Hello there! I say huzzah! Huzzah! Hello there! I'm Mr. Smythe. And I'm Mr. Jones. And how is each and everybody doing today? Sans 
with the hourglass. <laughs> Thus were the days of our lives. <laughs> oh, thank you, my dear. Thank you. Ah, princess. <laughs> thank you, my dear. Now, get me my mirror. Oh! Oh. Oh, do you know what I see? A strong, confident, beautiful young lady. <laughs> Opportunity, Rapunzel summoned up the courage to ask. Mother, I was wondering. Yeah. I mean, since it's my birthday tomorrow, would you please take me to see the floating lanterns? It's my only birthday wish. Oh, absolutely not, Rapunzel. Oh, ah, sorry. Samuel, yeah. flower gleam and glow, let your power shine. Make the fucker thirsty, but Rapunzel's mind. Ta da! <laughs> I told you, my dear, the world is a dangerous place filled with ruffians and thugs. And that's why I keep you locked away in this beautiful tower. Oh, ah, sorry. Seriously, uh, Sam. Flower glow, power shine, clock reverse, my, my, my. Poof. <laughs> For your own safety, my dear, you will never, ever, ever, ever leave this tower. Ever. Oh. <laughs> Trust me, Rapunzel. Mother knows best. <laughs> <laughs> Rapunzel was determined to see the floating lantern, so she did what any imprisoned 18-year-old girl would do. She packed up a frying pan and headed for the window. Looking down, Rapunzel spotted a young man climbing the tower. <gasps> a stranger! And this young man hauled himself into a tower room. Lord and yeah. ladies, a hearty huzzah for Flynn Rider! Huzzah! Ah! Quickly, Rapunzel did what any imprisoned 18 year old girl who just knocked out a climbing stranger would do. <laughs> After that, she went through his belongings, found a royal crown, mm. and hid it. Now surely I can convince him to take me to see the floating lantern. What Rapunzel didn't know was that the crown was stolen. Flynn was a wanted man. <sighs> Look, Blondie, there is no way I will ever, ever, ever take you to see... Okay, okay. <laughs> I'll take you to see the lantern. Anything to get that crown back. And with that, Rapunzel let down her hair. And down the tower they climbed. All right, this isn't weird. Climbing down a hair? As they scaled down the stone wall, the stranger introduced himself as... Flynn. Flynn Ryder. <laughs> then before Rapunzel could say... Pull the hairbrush, Flynn! Their feet were on the ground, and they were off and running on their new adventure! I can't believe I did this! This is so fun! Woo! I just hope we don't run into any ruffians or thugs. We're hoping to end this adventure as quickly as possible. And being arrested by the royal god, Flynn said, Hey, are you hungry? I know a great place for lunch. And thus he led the way to the Snuggly Duckling Tavern. Which, as it turns out, was filled with ruffians and thugs. Hello! Oh, oh, would you look at this bunch? This is a mean looking bunch of ruffians and thugs. I mean, look at that guy. Never trust anyone with a mustache. Especially a milk mustache. Oh, now be ruled by this princess disguise. I saw her on the kingdom's most wanted list last week. You know what, Blondie? I think it'd be a whole lot safer if we just turned you around and got you back home. What do you say? I'll just go back to that tower of yours and get the crown. Excuse right. me! Are you Flynn Rider? Uh, do I look like Flynn Rider? What do you think? Does he look like Flynn Rider? Fair enough! Get him! <laughs> Wait a minute! Give me back my stranger! Oh. oh! I need him to take me to see the floating lanterns! It's my dream! Don't! Any of you have a dream? Oh, what is that? It's a theatrical representation of our boat! Oh, I love the feeling! Where's Samuel? Every year, on this day, the king and queen release the lanterns in honor of their missing daughter. They're so beautiful. As the sky filled with the lantern's warm glow, I realized... I was falling in love. And the No, 
knowing that Rapunzel never broke a promise, Mother God will agree to allow her this final act of kindness. I can't let you do this. I can't let you die. Oh, but if you do this, then you will die. And so, with his last bit of strength, you take Brad Gobble's knife and... No! Cut Rapunzel's hair! No! Mine! 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 My hair suddenly lost all its magic! Causing Mother Gothel to wither into a shrinking old hand! Oh! Accursed brat! Seest what thou hast done? For I melt! I melt! Tis not a bit of fun! <laughs> to glow! You see, the magic that was in Rapunzel's hair was also present in this single teardrop. Its healing light flowed through Eugene. It sprang forth, swirling through the tower room. And with that light, a new life and new love! Huzzah! He returned to the kingdom and revealed Rapunzel as the missing princess. At which point the king and the queen... My 